This is not just a health crisis. This is an economic crisis, and it's a crisis for small business. Small businesses create two-thirds of the jobs in this country, and I know that's why you're so focused on them, and that's why everyone should be. We put out a report this week, the State of Small Business Report, which says that 31% of small businesses have stopped operating entirely, and another 11% believe if things don't change, they will go under as well. And this is the worst number. Half of small business owners don't believe they're gonna be able to rehire the people that they had to let go. Astonishing. Jim, I know that everybody should look at that report, but we know it's important to you in particular because because uh, you're a small business owner yourself. Yeah, I think that I, I've been following this uh, it, it, this Facebook, sh uh, really uh, an amazing shift to representing the interests of the millions of people who actually read Facebook, but the, you know a couple million businesses that are very that Facebook can really help. Obviously, yes, Facebook is then it's, it's reciprocal altruism. If they start doing more uh, business, maybe they'll do some ads with Facebook. If nothing's done out of the good of anybody's heart and business, but I would say that. When you look at what Shopify is doing with Facebook, what they're saying is, okay, look, we know that you're being squeezed, small business. We know that your rents aren't coming down. We know that brick and mortar is in real trouble. Here's an outlet for you to make some money. Here's an outlet that's going to keep you alive. And I think it is like that. I, I don't think people realize that when we, when these companies were deemed non-essential, it was almost as if they were deemed uh, the right to be able to fend for themselves, uh, but good luck. Uh, it, it wasn't a death warrant, but I, I look at when you're deemed non-essential and the big store next to you is deemed essential, you're done. You're done. You're not going to be able to compete. You've made the point as well, Jim, and we've discussed it, of course, with the S&P, as we just saw uh, at its highest level since March 6th. Down